I am here with your marriage check-in. So today we're going to talk about that famous, famous, famous verse of they shall become one. And you will become one. Your relationship will become one. You guys will become one. But you have to understand that it takes a lifetime. To become one, to become like-minded, to agree on a plan for your life together, to agree on marriage, to agree on the relationship, to agree on the spiritual connection and your unity, mind, body, and soul. It's going to take for you to find yourself. I know you ain't think about that, right? We always try to tell our mate, you need to think like me. You need to agree with me. We need to be on one accord with everything that we do. Uh, but the truth of the matter is you have to become that by becoming who you are. Many of us get married at a very, very young age. M many of us get married at a time and place that we fully don't know ourselves and not fully awaken to who we are and what we do and what we're here for. A lot of us don't know our passions and destiny and the things and that we are supposed to do, our missions and assignments. Some of us are still trying to figure out what career we want. So relax and take your time and enjoy the bliss of a marriage. Enjoy the relationship and enjoy being individuals, finding yourselves in God and finding yourself personally here on earth so that you guys can become one. Becoming one is going to take a lifetime and it's also going to take for you to find out who you are so you can be able to present it communicate it and stand on it and be consistent so take your time we are forever healing we are forever learning ourselves and becoming one is all about having patience and tolerance understanding exactly what the plan is going forward for our lives together so don't rush it you will become one as you continue to know who you are and whose you are and how you are going to move forward in your life you're planning a life together and you will become one also before i leave if you go back to that scripture and read right before they shall become one it also talks about the man leaving and cleaving so if we want to get to that bottom part of the scripture Kings, we pray for you and we ask that you be attentive to the part, the portion of that scripture that talks about leaving and cleaving because we need you. We need you to be in position just as much as we need to be in position. So make sure you do an inventory of yourself and evaluate. Did you leave? Did you leave all those things behind that has nothing to do with where you're going? Did you leave your parents as far as disconnecting and understanding that this is now your um, dominion? This is now your kingdom. This is now your queen. This is now your wife. Did you leave old traditions? Did you leave things that you no longer needed and became king and accepted your queen so that you too shall become one? Okay, so I'm going to get out of here because I don't want to mess with the men too much. Men, we are praying. We are praying for you that you continue to leave and cleave. We pray that you get the understanding, the spiritual understanding of leaving and cleaving. We pray that you are bold and courageous enough to know that leaving and cleaving will bring you and your wife together. It will also help you obtain the favor that you so deserve. And you too can become one as you learn each other and learn the things of God here on earth. So yes, you can become one. Take your time to learn each other. Um, this is a continuous, continuous process. And have fun in the process as you too become one. Have a great day. I'll be back again with your marriage check-in. Happy Friday.